In case you have a Bluetti power station and you don't like the smartphone app, you might be interested in my Bluetooth visualizer. It is made for the Bluetti EB3A, but it might work on other power stations as well. It indicates the solar input, the AC input, the DC output, and the AC output, as well as input and output to and from the battery. It also takes into account standby power and conversion losses, as well as the 10-watt solar bug. The battery power is also shown with a color indicator. Here you can see graphs over time for the inputs and outputs and the battery power. The application also shows different data the Bluetti app doesn't provide, the total watt hours of different inputs and outputs, and some other interesting data like solar maximum and average. You can also set a notification when the battery reaches certain percentages while charging or discharging. It also logs data in a CSV format you can easily analyze in OpenOffice or so. It runs based on Python and the Bluetti MQQT library. I'll show you how to install and run it. First of all, you need to install Python and PA, and then install the following libraries. PyQt for graphical windows. Bluetti MQQT for Bluetooth connection to the Bluetti. Python VLC for the sound notification. Plier for the system notification. After everything is installed, you need to find out the Bluetti Bluetooth address. You have to do it only once, so don't worry. To find it out, press any key on your Bluetti to wake it up and type the following command, python 3 bluettivispy dash dash scan. After a while, you should see your Bluetti, and you can copy the address. It won't change over time, so you can use it every time. To finally run the script, type the following command, or even better, copy it and put it into a shortcut on the desktop so you would never have to type it again. Python 3 bluettiviz.py dash dash log log file dot txt, then the Bluetti address you just found out. Unfortunately, there is an annoying bug at the current state. When you quit the script, the Bluetooth connection stays alive, so you cannot reconnect. I could only avoid this by disabling Bluetooth on my computer and re-enabling it. I didn't figure out how to fix it since I suck at Python. It has to, too, with ASNIC tasks running in threads. Maybe someone of you can fix it. It's open source and you can find the link in the description. Thanks and have fun. Feel free to leave any feedback in the comments.